This is Bristol, and this is Elimination Friday here on NASCAR Thunder 2003. Last time out at Richmond, it was a very spirited 20-lap run to the finish between Dylan Murway and Jeff Gordon, with Dylan Murway barely coming out on top on the last corner. Coming into tonight's race at Bristol, the four drivers that we have to keep a watch for in terms of elimination, possibly being eliminated at the checkered flag, Bill Elliott, Bobby Labonte, Dale Jarrett, and Tony Stewart. Tony Stewart is the first up of the four, along with Bill Elliott, who is nine points in the cutoff, but poor showings by Bobby Labonte at Richmond and Dale Jarrett at Darlington have really created a tight hole for the two. Obviously, Jarrett crashed at Darlington and Bobby Labonte crashed at Richmond. So a good run by Bill Elliott or Tony Stewart might just be enough to get them over the hump over Kevin Harvick, who is currently four points above Tony Stewart. But Bobby Labonte or Dale Jarrett win tonight? Bill Elliott and Tony Stewart are out. Or Bobby Labonte or Dale Jarrett, I'm sorry. Let's go racing. You probably see I brought back a classic paint scheme for this one. The uh, inverted man in black. Chevrolet. Bristol Motor Speedway, his banks in the corners that are higher than Daytona and Talladega. 36 in the corners, 16 degrees on the straights. The winner's purse tonight is $189,000. And the seating capacity, this track will seat 147,000 seats. And the winner in the very first race was held in 1961. Hard to believe, huh? So, track record was set in March of 2002 by none other than Jeff Gordon. So, let's qualify, see where this puts us. You can probably see the paint team we brought back. The rough entry into turn one there. Oh, oh, whoa, that was bad. As we come off of turn four, that should put us, wow. On the outside lane to start this one. Yikes. Not a good place to start is on the outside lane at Bristol. It's nighttime here at Bristol Motor Speedway, and we're ready to go racing under the lights. It's the Sharpie 500, brought to you by EA Sports and MRN. Barney, this place has been referred to as the world's fastest half-mile oval.
125 laps on tap tonight here at Bristol. Drivers that we need to keep a watch for, Kevin Harvick, Tony Stewart, possibly Rusty Wallace and Ryan Newman, Dale Jarrett, Bill Elliott, and Bobby Labonte. Furthest back of the six that we saw, Bobby Labonte starting out in 26th on the outside lane for the initial start. Very interesting for him. especially if the field stacks up on the start. So it'll be fun keeping your nose clean for 125 laps. Jeff Gordon, Darlington winner, brings him down. We are underway from Bristol. Matt Kenseth starting back there as well in the 32nd position, I believe. The 17. Checks him up. There you see Dylan Roy getting by Steve Park. Forced his way down there on that initial start. Might be possible a bit of left front damage to that one car. Closing in on 
Labonte. Takes him three wide, gets by him and the six of Mark Martin. Regular season point leader. Currently sixth on the playoff grid of 16. His goal right now, he can finish and just make it into the top, into the round of 12. But he doesn't have a whole lot of issues. Labonte is on the apron, borderline on the apron here. Dylan has just pinned him down the bottom lane. Lane there. He was, he had all four tires up on that, down on the blacktop. Just to try to get by Dylan. As he moves Jimmy Spencer out of the way for 25th. As, whoa, contact. Dylan on the outside lane trying to make up some more ground. Trying to block the one of Park. Lose Benson up the track. There's Petty in the 45. We have by the 45 of Petty here for 22nd. And oh, contact. Petty slams the wall and around goes Mark Martin. There's a big stack up in turn four. Somehow that wasn't a yellow. So I think they'll probably have one here in the next lap or two. Big stack up and Jeff Gordon definitely needed this. Three lap cars he can get to. Look at that. Mark Martin and Dylan Norway get together in a stack up with Petty. Petty hits the wall, and then somehow they're still green. There might be some smoke further back from one of those three cars. But we're still green here in the Sharpie 500, Jeff Gordon, Sterling Marlin, Ricky Rudd, the top three. Dylan Roy trying, just trying to hold on after that stack up. Bounces off of Spencer. And somehow, Petty and Martin both gained the same, get their spots back after that stack up. Gordon has already gotten to the back of the field. See him there behind all those lap cars. Him and probably a good bit of the leaders as well. Dylan Murway, the good thing about him and Jeff Gordon, they are through to the round of 12 because of wins. And as of right now, it looks like Marlon if, may clinch this, clinch himself a spot in the round of 12 L as well, depending on how he runs tonight. An update from that situation as well. Harvick and his furthered his gap ahead of Stewart as the caution comes out. And it looks like debris on the racetrack. And there we go. First caution of the night. Base car is off. Green flag back into the air. Gordon brings him down to turn one. So 
got Marlon and Rudd behind him. And, ooh, I think Dylan might be mad at Kyle at Bobby Labonte. And there it is. Got another caution, this time a big mess. Labonte gets spun around. Here on the back stretch, that brings out the second yellow. Now Petty gets spun around in front of Benson. So, second yellow of the night for him. Definitely not what Labonte needed. He was part of that must-win category with him and Dale Jarrett. Case car is off. We'll try this again. Green flag. And Johnny Benson spins on the back stretch in the traffic almost. Yellow flag is out. They look like they'll get anybody else. And that brings out the third caution of the night. There is one car slow in turn four after that stack up. Yep, Benson, Shane Hall, and Jerry Nadu, Bobby Labonte did get a piece of that. So yellow number three is Johnny Benson lands right in the path of Jerry of Shane Hall. Dylan's gonna have to hit most likely, due to all the damage. And he's going to do just that. So, takes car is off. And so, Dylan Roy may fall a lap down here. We'll see how quick he gets out. going to beat out the pace car and Jeff Gordon. The green flag is back out. So after that little rough go of wrecking there, of cautions there, hopefully we can get a long green flag run in or two. But the pit strategy... Of that Dylan Murray took, could he be playing the same game as Darlington? By the way, Johnny Benson has retired from competition in this race. So, not really the best weekend for him. In terms of racing. So, he'll be back in California next week. Or on Sunday night. Sorry, Monday night, I'm sorry. Monday night, Cal begins the round of 12. As Dylan Murray gets under Nadu. For a position. A lot of traffic up ahead. As Dylan just slams Casey Atwood into the wall to bring out the fourth caution. Apparently that's a yellow nowadays. A lot of damage to that seven car, especially on that right side. Green flag. Gordon is still your leader here as he's led the opening 39 laps or so as we work lap 40. Hopefully they can get some green flag racing in and See some cars coming down pit 
bunch of cars come down pit road for green flag stops, probably around lap 58 or so is when we'll see that happen. And Dylan Merwick can use the pit strategy to his advantage. Mark Martin having a tough go tonight. Started in the middle of the field, got into an early tiff with Kyle Petty and Dylan Merway. Running in the mid-20s up to this point. Dylan Merway, oh, got a slow stack up at the head. Might have been Mark Martin again with Kyle Petty. Dylan Merway gets right to the back bumper of Kenseth. Almost gets turned by Ward Burton. They seem to sort things out. Dylan runs Craven into the wall. There's Mark Martin up ahead. A lot of damage to his car after an early dust up, if you will. So sometime in the next couple of laps, we should see green flag pit stops. Well, they're really going by Petty for 25th. Oh, okay, that was good. Forty-six laps complete. Dylan Murray is currently mowing, coming through traffic after an early that early dust up, and he's starting twenty-eighth. He is up to the twenty-third position. Only one car out of the race up to this point. That is the ten of Benson. Jeff Gordon has just gotten into turn one. Dylan Roy continues to mix things up with a heavily battered six car. <sighs> Dylan Norway letting Spencer know he's there for 21st. Got Earnhardt Jr. in 20th up ahead. He's the last of the first half of the field. Out front, it is pretty much a small country club of cars with Jeff Gordon leading all 50 lap, one laps that have been run. So we should definitely see green flag pit stops here in the next 10 laps or so. Currently making up a little bit of time to Junior. Could get into the top 20 here. You can get to Junior. Moves him out of the way. Moves Burton. Burton smacks the wall. No caution there. They had three cars jacked up earlier in the initial, early on this race. That wasn't a yellow, but somebody getting pinned into the wall was. And uh, curious there, what was the logic there? As Dylan Merway gets by Scott Wimmer, Jeff Gordon still is your leader here at Bristol. Runs Scott Wimmer to the apron to pass him. As look at that, you got we're seeing some more chasers. Rusty Wallace back there with Schrader for 16th. Remember, Rusty Wallace and Ryan Newman do have a little bit of cushion, but right, Rusty has more than Newman, who has fallen into the eliminated four. He's fallen outside the top 12. Caution comes out. We got a car in the wall on the back stretch. Somebody hit the wall. There's two cars on pit road. Cut. Who is that that cut a tire? It was a black car.
it was uh, who is that? That was Scott Wimmer who just no. Somebody hit that tire. So here's see how that plays out. Could that be right around the time of green flag stops? Who was this? those two cars on pit road? Several more hitting pit road up ahead. Kevin Harvick included. Pace car is off. Green flag back into the air. Top two drivers last week. Top two on the restart. Green flag. Dylan Murway holding up. He's holding on that outside lane. He may have advanced, but he has every right to race. By the way, the car that cut the tire as Ricky Rudd takes the lead. There was a car that darted straight right. You know, Mark Martin is uh, 42nd. That might have been him. That shot to the right there. I'm not sure, really sure who that was. As Ricky Rudd takes the lead, Sterling Marlin and Jeff Gordon are second and third. Dylan Murray fourth, and Michael Walter runs out the top five. We did get a long green flag run early on. Could we see what uh, what else happens? So Mark Martin may have, was the car might have been the one that hit the hood there. So that might might hurt him unless because there's only one car that's fallen out of the race. That is Johnny Benson, and there's not a lot of cushion if you have a problem because points very well could be falling down the drain if that's the case. Oh, Dylan gets into Bill Elliott. Runs Kurt Busch into the wall. Oh, contact. Kurt Busch just <coughs> almost turns Dylan Murway on the backstretch. Dylan gets into Harvick, and Harvick gets turned into the pack. The caution's out again. The field stacked up. Harvick will be restarting at the back. Unfortunately, that could be a big blow for him. In his playoff chances, he came in four points to the good. Now he only lost, really lost a handful of spots. He only now he's five points behind Stewart. So right now the bottom four as it sits. So Junior's two above Harvick, the worst four chasers right now. Mark Martin, Bobby Labonte. Labonte is in a must-win situation. Labonte, Mark Martin started tonight fourth on the playoff grid. Now he's on the bottom half behind Labonte. Labonte needs a win. So then you got Newman and Matt Kenseth. And Kenseth has a tall mountain to climb. He's got to pass seven cars. His car is back off. Green flag back into the air. Rudd leads him back into turn one. Dylan Murway stacking up the field here. He's got Stewart behind him. You know, Stewart doesn't take kindly of getting held up.
and he basically put the door to the bumper to Tony Stewart. Good thing about Dylan Merway and some of the times he's had tonight is that he can see Dylan Merway won ahead of Jeff Gordon last week. Held off Jeff Gordon. And he is through no matter what. And Rusty spins into the pack. Big mess and a big stack up behind. Kyle Petty is involved. Again, second crash of the night for him. Kyle Petty, Rusty Wallace, and Dylan Merway in trouble here at Bristol. Earnhardt Jr. did get a piece of that. Terry Labonte as well. Steve Park. Steve Park did get a, a lot of damage in that as well. So a lot of cars in that stack up here in turn three. There is a car sitting on pit road. I'm clear who that is. Base car is off. Dylan Merway is the only car lap down. Green flag back into the air. Right up the track. Here comes Marlin to take the lead. And Marlin gets drop kicked. And Dylan takes the... Did they... They credited Dylan with the lead even though he was on the inside. What is going on? Weird scoring glitch, so Marlin gets is the latest victim. He collects Jimmy Johnson. Johnson was on the apron for some reason. Pace car is off. Green flag back into the air. Slow start for Dylan Merway. Gordon comes low. Back. Let's see how many cars. It's weird because Dylan restarted back in. He was restarting. He came out. He was crediting that caution 41st. Pitted. Was lapped down next to Ricky Rudd. Sterling Marlin gets turned with Jimmy Johnson. Everybody somehow is still on the lead lap. Dylan restarted in the inside lane. Wow. Weird to see there. Meanwhile, out front, Jeff Gordon escapes from all the bumping and grinding behind. And I mean, there is a lot of it by about a full second. Dylan Merway, Michael Walter fight for second. Run to the bumper of Dylan for third. Can't quite get him there. And Rudd to the inside. Remember, Rudd has not won, but he's showed a very strong performance in the last couple races, so he's basically through to the next round.
fact, with all these chase contenders having problems, that may, this may just be the point for Bill Elliott to just finish because of all the issues and all the wrecks that have happened tonight. That basically means Elliott just needs to finish. By the way, uh, for the entire October half of races, which include California, Charlotte, Talladega, Martinsville, and the Texas Road Course, I will be running paint schemes honoring various forms of cancer, which cancer is a deadly killer in this world. And starting in California, we'll alternate between through honoring various types of cancer, obviously California will be a breast cancer design man in black car. Where instead of the traditional black with the gray on the bottom, it'll be pink with black on the bottom. Be switching around between breast cancer and pancreatic and ovarian cancer throughout the month of October. Throughout the four races between California, Charlotte, Talladega, Martinsville, and Texas infield as wow. A lot of stack ups, and all Jeff Gordon's doing is just loving all this drama. He is loving this. I think Dylan Murray may be losing another piece of debris because he's been banging everybody around tonight. Out front is the Jeff Gordon show with Michael Waltrip chasing him down. This was the site back in 1990 where Waltrip had that infamous crash where he hit a crossover gate in turn two and his car detonated. Right where the Sharpie 500 logo is, Waltrip got tipped high, smacked an opening in the wall, and his car detonated miraculously. Michael Waltrip lived somehow. Got a caution again. Probably the sixth one tonight. Dylan running, trying to keep Burton blocked in 11th. They race back to the caution flag. Pace car is off. 25 laps to go. Green flag. Jeff Gordon takes the lead going into turn one. Ricky Rudd, Kurt Busch, Michael Waltrip, and Bill Elliott, the top four. Or top five, I'm sorry. I cannot count tonight, apparently. Dylan trying to keep Hamilton pinned behind in second. So, 18 to go here. Will there be in more cautions? Uh, it's Bristol. I'd bank on it. And I'd bank on lots of them. Still trying to keep the field behind. It's in. He gets into Hamilton here. Yellow is out. Collects Jimmy Spencer. They race back to the caution flag again. One. One laps to go. Steve Park was the only car that got. Watch Steve Park, though. The one car. Watch him. Ooh. Slowed down. I don't think he got damage in that in getting the Hamilton. Base car is off. Green flag waves. 
Gordon dominating this race again, just like Darlington. And here's Dillian, comes down in front of Park. And got a car smoking up ahead. Might have been Green that hit the wall. Run. Yeah, it was Jeff Green in the 30. And Mayfield gets in the back of Dillon. Here with 16 to go. We got... Jeff Gordon having a dominating performance tonight. He's, Ricky Rudd is there. I bet you Ricky Rudd would love to have a win as Dylan Merwick continues to bash the inside of his car in. All the yellows that have happened. You gotta admit, for the, those who collect the diecasts, a car like this would make for an amazing race, race win. For those for the, uh, you know, those who seriously collect that kind of stuff. A car like this that's been damaged, beat up, and looks like it came through Bristol would make for an awesome piece. Shows you how tough Bristol is. And wait till uh, this year in real life when these cup cars are on dirt. Racing in the dirt. Dylan pole rushes way right past Dale Jarrett. All they can do at that point with Martin and Wallace having those two issues, along with Bobby Labonte, all Jarrett need, Harvick needs to do, hold on. The closest competitor to him, Kevin Harvick with 10 to go in terms of the chase, Jeremy Mayfield two points back is two points up. Closest to Harvick. Earnhardt Jr. and Jimmy Johnson. Johnson has had, had some good, plenty amazing runs this opening round. If he can just, Harvick can just hold on and hope somebody in front of him, in terms of the chase, has an issue, he's in. And Dylan. Oh, gets into Tony Stewart. Huge playoff implications. Dylan smacked the wall. Tony Stewart gets taken out. Hits the apron, gets hammered by Jarrett. And here we go, back under the caution flag. Uh, yeah, I don't think Stewart's going to like that. So Tony Stewart is out. Five laps to go. Stewart is out of the playoffs. Will Ricky Rudd do anything to get to Jeff Gordon? Four to go. When he gets in the line, there will be three laps left. Dylan Murray trying to hold on. Here in sixth. And here comes Elliot right here. Getting the line two to go. Rudd is there. Gordon shuts the door in turn one. Dylan just put the bumper to Wal Elliot, who hits Wall Trip. Here comes Rudd. Rudd is there. Dylan is just on a roll tonight. White flag waves here at Bristol. Dylan puts the bumper to the bush. Will he get there? Here comes Dylan. Charges the corner. It will not be enough. Jeff Gordon will win the Sharpie 500 at Bristol. Got into some trouble and did some damage to his car. Well, Joe, the bound to have 
bad days in this NASCAR Winston Cup Series. The key is having a team that can put everything back together and continue forward at the same time. These guys will be fine. From all of us here at EA Sports and MRN, we hope you enjoyed tonight's race. So long. We'll see you next week at the California Speedway. So Dylan Merway bangs his way through the field and is through to the next round. Jeff Gordon and Dylan Merway had strong control of the field in this one in the opening round of the playoffs. So 11 caution flags tonight. Jeff Gordon with his sixth win of the season. Tying Dylan Murray for the most. Jeff Gordon, Ricky Rudd is Ricky Rudd is through to the next round. Kurt Busch is through to the next round. Bill Elliott, after all the problems that happened, is through to the next round. Dale Jarrett, Jeremy Mayfield barely advances. With the Tony Stewart crash, Kevin Harvick is able to get into the next round. So, the 12 drivers that advance, Jeff Gordon, Ricky Rudd, Dylan Merway, Kurt Busch, Bill Elliott, Dale Jarrett, Jeremy Mayfield, Kevin Harvick, Earnhardt Jr., Jimmy Johnson, Sterling Marlin, And Rusty Wallace. So Matt Kenseth, Bobby Labonte, Brian Newman, and Tony Stewart will not advance into the round of 12. So, post race stats Jeff Gordon earned $189,000 with his win. 11 yellows for 23 laps, 8 lead changes among 5 drivers. Time of race, a little over, a little close to an hour. Average speed, 66 miles an hour. And the margin of victory, 17 one hundredths of a second. I thought Jeff Gordon was going to be hit by Ricky Rudd in that last corner, but Gordon held on. So, the round of 12 opens. With the following races, California, Charlotte, and Ta Lowe's Motor Speedway in Talladega. The, that one's going to be the big, arguably the second biggest wild card compared to Texas in the round of eight, which it's not the original Texas. It's the, the road course, and it's a small one. And it's going to be fun. So, tonight's awards. Jeff Gordon won the pole, led the most laps. Dylan Merway passed the most cars. John Andretti had the fastest lap. Dylan Merway was the best rookie, and Jeff Gordon made the best pass. Dylan Merway is able to open his lead over Jimmy Johnson in the rookie of the year race. Fifteen drivers have won polls this season. Jeff Gordon has moved to third with his poll at Bristol. Chevrolet is a 21-point lead over Ford in the manufacturer standings. Jeff Gordon has passed over Dylan Merway in the EA Sports Lap Champion race. See you Monday night for the opening race in the round of 12.